What's up YouTube? It is January 24th. It's 50 degrees outside right now in Miami. As well as Orlando, uh, which I'm located at this moment. Um, today, I wanted to talk about something fairly recent. I was advertising what I'm doing, which is, you, sh you know, whoever has been keeping track of my videos should know by now. Um, and as I was doing that, the way I was doing it was uh, just kind of putting the word out there to people that I know. Um, but as I was doing it, I noticed it was it was kind of a moment where you're uh, you start to feel like everything's starting to, to get in place. Like as soon as uh, people start uh, coming and start checking things out, start happening, it's like things are starting. You know, things are things, things are going now, and then it gets to a point where you can't control it anymore. Um, and then it's whatever life kind of tells you it is. I'm not going to use my pipe today. Smoking pipes is a little bit uh, complicated sometimes. Sometimes you just want it to just keep burning. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to hotbox this car today as I tell you what's on my mind. So, when I was showing, when I was recommending people to watch my videos, it was kind of like internally. I ha I was having more of a, a mini freak out uh, <coughs> as far as you know <coughs> people's opinions um, <coughs> normally I, I, I wouldn't be phased by it and you know I keep telling people uh, no matter what people might think about the videos there's always gonna be people that's gonna like it and then there's people that's not gonna like it 90% pe of people can like it 10% of people won't and then 90% of people won't like it but 10% will and the thing is that in this world, 10% is much more than what people may think it is. You know, uh, if there's 600 million people in the world, people who usually get known tend to go uh, an average of views of maybe 3 million people before they actually start uh, getting noticed or becoming viral. So, it's difficult for that transition. I know there's a lot of people that have been through it, especially people who are YouTube famous. You know who started out in the beginning, I'm sure when they started, uh, they had these little mini freakouts uh, when they see all these views. And then I can imagine that their their situation is one a step much higher, just mainly because they already have uh, millions of viewers. So they've probably already seen the worst. That's probably uh, immune to them at some point. Or maybe not. Uh, there's only one way to find out, and only time can really tell. So. We'll just keep progressing. Uh, we'll keep making these videos, uh, keep, keeping in topics. You know, um, every, every video will get better and better and better. Um, eventually, the more things I start to get set up, the more uh, different the video transitions are going to be. You know, I'll be able to do cutoffs, so you guys don't have to hear my ums, so you guys don't have to hear my souls, so you guys don't have to hear my blank spaces. Uh, to me though, those blank spaces tend to be the genuine uh, in the video, you know, and it's kind of makes, it's kind of like a, an um or a so is that stop and think moment where you, where you decipher something that someone tells you and then you give your own opinion at it uh, right after. So that's usually what an um is. Some people say um uh, also because they're just they have nothing to say about it. They're unknowledged about what the person just said to them. So it's uh, it's more. It's also um, it's also a blank a, a word to to represent like a blank space. You know, a blank space in your mind that you have no idea uh, what it is, or you have no idea what to say because it's just there's nothing there. It's empty-headed. It doesn't mean you're dumb, it happens to all of us, it's all humanity, uh, all humanity, uh, situation, so, it's not just you. It is 38 degrees outside, it is freezing, it's a big deal over here in Florida, um, 
I hate it. Uh, I've been struggling at home with the heater and the the, the, the cooler because it, you know you put the heater on and it's very it gets really hot at some point. So you put the AC on and you fall asleep and then you wake up in the morning and then you're freezing your ass off in bed because uh, outside cold mixed with in in air cold and then there's nearly impossible to get out of bed this morning. You know, and it takes a while for the heater to actually throw through. So you're just shaking all day, all night. Might as well be outside. Or it could be the opposite. It's very, very hot outside in the nighttime. And you want to open the door and feel that blast of cold air uh, to keep you from, from sweating all over the house. Been in both situations. So, that's usually how I, how I envy the cold. I'm sure the people up north have a lot bigger problems uh, to deal with than that. But. Yeah, Florida problems. Anyways, so, <laughs> like I was saying, people uh, are going to state their opinions and you're gonna fear their opinions because you don't know what they're gonna say and you're fearful whether they're gonna criticize you or not. Um, but if it's the good thing is, because I've been through these situations, uh, if you do it and then you're kind of there and you're kind of just watching them watch the video and then you're looking at their reactions making sure that you know what they're thinking and then if the, if the income turns out positive it gives you a very high advantage on what uh, what your plans are or what you're trying to do you know it makes you feel more confident on everything you're doing like you're doing something right but the only way for you to know that is if you have you'll have to put your stuff out there, you know. And yeah, you're gonna run into some people that's gonna say something. This place, you know, everywhere you go, any interview you go, any person you talk to, they're gonna say the same thing. This world is messed up, and there's pe some messed up people out there, you know. But there's some good people out there too, you know. And then there's people that are just kind of in between. So people you really want around you are the people that don't worry about that most of the time so today is day one of my week off <coughs> uh, got the order in already um, so hopefully by tomorrow or the day after tomorrow I'll have uh, my Tascam um, audio recorder which I'll connect to the camera and then somehow figure out a way to connect the, the entire uh, studio system in this car which I'm sure it's possible I'll probably need the computer here the my mixer as well as the uh, microphone um, and this camera so there'll be a lot of things in this car so but it's just it'll just be an improvement from from all this so after that we'll work on something else and then we'll learn how to work with UV filters We'll learn how to work with transitions, movie editing. Uh, not sure which one I should use yet. I did download Vegas. Uh, but if there's a better one over there, I, I'd like to hear that. Vegas is not, to me, it's not, uh, just, just not what I am. Just the whole design really doesn't speak to me. So, yeah. Whatever's really good out there, I'll figure it out eventually. Some people, they think that, uh, they compare, uh, smoking weed to doing cocaine or, uh, taking acid or doing a molly. Now, when I look at weed, I see, I see something that, maybe because I've, I've educated myself with it, I see something that's grown from the ground and kind of harvest, harvested like a fruit, you know, and then somebody picked it. And then they did this whole thing, like they found out the best way to do it, kind of like how they do with fruits, you know, they, how they let it ripe and they let it dry out and things like that before they actually give it away. You can't really compare something like that, in my opinion, to something that was made with chemicals and in a, in a, in a lab, you know, uh, things that were manipulated and, you know, that's, that's playing God right there, so I can't really see this. And feel like this is wrong you know it it has it has dopamine which is what's in all of us 
All of us have dopamine in our bodies. This just kind of gives you more dopamine. It's like creatine. If you're a bodybuilder or someone who's just into health and you know about uh, creatine, you know, there's a lot of athletes that take creatine. Um, it actually gives you a higher, much higher performance uh, whenever you're, you're doing something, whether you're running or you're playing a sport or something. So, people take pills. You know, there's these pills they sell just in any other, any place, GNC, Winn-Dixie, Publix, you'll find them. Uh, the one I use over is uh, Six Star, and then they'll give you about, I believe, three or four times the amount of creatine than normal. So while you're exercising, while you're doing your, while you're drinking a protein shake, if you are, you don't really have to, you take these, and I've been taking them, and I've noticed that it does help. It does give you a higher performance. It does give you muscle gain. It does, you know, it's a... Uh, I, I was uh, like wondering why people would take things like steroids when you could just take these things, you know. But I guess everybody's different and their their body's different and they work in different ways. But what, but what I've noticed is this uh, six star or six power I forgot the brand name. Um, these pills have been working and I've been wanting to actually move more and exercise more, you know. So that's one thing to look for. But uh, let me just. Of course, I want to give you guys a freestyle. All right, so I haven't written anything down yet uh, recently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a throwback on uh, something I've worked back in the day. It is one of the first songs that I've uh, written. So uh, let me see. Yeah, it is. It's one of the first songs I've ever written. The first time I did it was with uh, um, hus the hustling, uh, hustling song by uh, Rick Ross, and then I changed it to uh, one of these songs I've heard uh, with uh, Lil Wayne. I think Two Chains, which is um, I think the song's called "I Ain't Nervous." So, but in this one, it's called uh, oh, it is called "I Ain't Nervous" too. I guess I wrote the same thing. So, here's this uh, in the go prima donna. I ain't nervous. Looking at the world, waiting for a bigger world Making moves every day, a checkmate on the world No more games, gotta play out my plan Can't rest until I got a pocket with a grand Man, I ain't stressing, cause every day I'm hustling